Hey everybody, so today we're going to be setting up the my new Samsung Gear S3 Frontier with a non-Samsung smartphone. So this is the HTC 10 here. And so we're going to try to pair it up and see how it works with a non-Samsung phone. So any Android phone, I believe I forget what version, 4.4, KitKat or, or above, as long as you've got the Gear Manager application installed, you should be able to set pair it and set up your Gear S3 with that phone. So I've got Gear Manager installed. I'm just going to hit connect to Gear, say OK. OK. It's going to prompt me to install a Gear plugin. So this part wouldn't be necessary on a Samsung based phone. But since it's not, we have to do, I download some a few additional things here. So, tap OK to install Samsung Accessory Service. OK, we're going to install another service or plugin. Hit install. Done installing. Back to the Gear Manager. Connecting to Gear. So, we're going to do this in real time so you can kind of see how long this might take and what all the steps look like. So, now the Gear S3 is setting up. Agreeing to some terms and conditions. They want you to click agree to all. I'm just going to say agree to use S voice and voice related functions to find my phone, but I'm not going to say share my location or information. Oh no, agree to share, sorry. Agree to use S voice, agree to share location to find my phone, but I'm not going to agree to send diagnostic reports. Next. Sign into your Samsung accounts. All right, let's see if I can do that. We'll do that off camera real quick. Okay, we're all signed in. Keep gear connected. Your gear can be remotely connected to your phone even while Bluetooth is disconnected. So yeah, so if you've got the LTE version, you can do remote connect. And so it'll connect over LTE, okay. Ignore battery optimizations, okay. We want to keep it connecting going. Turn on notification access, turn on. So we'll hit gear, okay. Go back. Uh, we'll hit back here. Get back into Gear Manager. And so here's where we can manage your notifications. And so by default, it's going to select some commonly used applications. It'll list all apps on your phone. You can go through, deselect or select whatever you want. I'll just accept this for now. Hit next. And setup is complete. So just like that. We're all done, um, and here's the gear. Here's one of the watch faces that it comes with. It's got that digital time, and then a bunch of, I guess what Apple calls complications, but a bunch of additional information that you can customize around that for that watch face there. Uh, here's our gear manager application itself. So you can see it's connected to my Gear S3. I can do some updates there, but here it is. Battery, it shows your battery. It shows how much storage you have left. So I think it comes at four gigs. So out of the gate, 1.6 gigs are free. Um, 2.4 gigs are already taken. So uh, you're not really left with that much space to store things like music if you want to play music straight off the watch. Uh, there you can see memory usage and additional watch faces to change. You can go through some basic watch faces, which I'll show you. Suggested apps there. You can get more through the Samsung Gear Store. Uh, things like that. So that's basically additional settings here. Um, notifications again, you can go refine tune your notifications. Find my gear, so if I don't know where it is, I can hit that and your gear starts ringing. I've got it. Swipe that away. Um, what else we got here? Uh, gear connection, connected to via Bluetooth, but you can do remote connect. So if these two ever get separated via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, uh, if you have the LTE version, it will connect over LTE. And so you'll be able to receive phone calls, text messages, send phone calls, send texts, uh, receive audio notifications just like you're connected through Bluetooth, but it'll just be over through LTE. So again, perfect for things like if you're very active, obviously this is why you're getting the Frontier version. Um, you can leave your watch behind, go jogging, go exercise, walk your dog, whatever, without having to have this in your pocket. Um, so that's kind of the gear manager app itself. 
Uh, here's the watch again. So now it's all set up. You can tap and hold. Oops. Let's do my pin. All right. So there's the watch itself. I can scroll to the right for to see all my notifications. You can see there's that orange indicator there that was telling me I had notifications. So I can go to scroll that way and see them. Scrolling to your right, you get all your different um, widgets here. So this is your um, now playing widget. So control your music. You can add multiple contacts, single contacts, uh, weather, calendar. This is some water and coffee intake, uh, calories burned, steps taken, altimeter and barometer, news, and you can add additional widgets. Let's see what we got here. You have alarms, different app shortcuts, different kind of contacts. So you can single or multi-contact. You can do reminders. So if you want to use this to keep all your reminders, you can have them right there um, on your wrist instead of having to pull out your phone all the time. Uh, S Health here challenges. Probably won't be using that too much. Um, S Health exercise um, stats. Uh, floors climbed. Heart rate. Leaderboard. So they try to make it fun. So if you want to see your leaderboard, if you actually know other people that are doing that with S Health, you've got that. You've got your calendar weather widget that we saw uh, world clock so those are all the different kind of widgets that you can add um, to here if you want to change your watch face press and hold uh, you've got some you can scroll through a bunch of the different types of watch faces um, so why not right let's go take a look at what some of these might look like there's a whole bunch and you can always get more through their store uh, but here's a pretty plain one really big digital clock there um, this is for your steps, so you can see the clock and it'll give you your steps, so it's more of an exercise focus type of a thing. Um, heartbeat, heart rate sensor, so there's that. Um, you've got this watch face here, um, steps climbed type of watch face, a lot of exercise focused type of watch faces. Look like a traditional watch face, shows you some exercise based information there. And any watch face where you're going to see a customized at the bottom, you can customize some of the things that you see on there. But here's another one. Um, has a bunch of different information in here um, about your uh, health and exercising stats. And each of the quadrants there in the watch face. This is the one that we just saw with the digital clock. Uh, it says stylize here. So I can hit that and I can change things like color. So if you've got different watch bands, this is great. You can accessorize your face to face color to your watch band color. I can swipe to say customizing each of the quadrants. So that's weather. Um, I can change that to be any other type of widget weather, sunrise, sunset, wall clock, barometer, steps, floors, heart rate, etc. So a bunch of different things you can customize this into. We'll leave it back on weather. I've got battery in this quadrant. I've got uh, my steps and a wall clock there. Um, Sorry if it's not focusing very well, um, but there you go. Samsung Pay, um, no. So other watch faces here, digital clock as well, with a bunch of different information that can be customized. You've got a My Photo, so you can customize the background here with a wallpaper or a photo. Um, there's a chronograph, so this is actually the default watch face, I believe. Um, so there's that, looks very nice. Looks a lot like a normal watch. Um, here's another one, Frontier watch face. Right there. And what else we got? Blue pop. So that's more of a white face. Minimal, so this is a very, obviously minimal watch face. Looks very business-like. You can slap on some leather bands or metal bands and look very dressy. Active clock here. Urban Class, another really dressy looking watch face. And that's it. And so, yeah, and you can go back and get whatever other additional watch faces you want. For now, I think I'm going to just leave it back on this one here. I like this digital clock. It shows me a bunch of information. I like that. Um, but again, yeah, and here's the digital. So, this is the scroll wheel. Again, very simple, very easy, very tactile. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of setting up. Well, how long is it going to take you to set up the Gear S3 with a non-Samsung phone? Very simple, very straightforward, much like a normal um, Samsung uh, smartwatch setup process. You just have to install a few additional apps and plugins. 
But otherwise, very easy, very simple. Um, hopefully this video was helpful for, t for you. If you have any additional questions about the watch, uh, let me know and I'll try to answer them. Maybe I'll do a video on it. But until next time, thanks for watching.